Hello and welcome, my name's Sam and this is The Little Greenhouse Creates. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me for our first in this week's Stamp Set of the Week, Warm Welcome. Um, it is this lovely stamp set. It actually got 20 stamps in total. Um, so as usual, my Monday morning, I have stamped it all out. So there are nine focal images that you can colour in. Um, which are here on the left hand side so we've got um, presents whether it's Christmas or birthday you've got the door which is the main piece uh, you've got two arms here chinking cups whether it's coffee or tea uh, a pussycat you've got three little pairs of boots obviously this is like for baby arriving that kind of thing uh, a bouquet of flowers with an outstretched arm and then three little small stamps uh, a circle a circle with a heart in the middle and a heart on its own on the other side we have got um 11 sentiments so you've got my door is always open for you miss you little one hello welcome yay know you knowing you feels like coming home to my home let's spend time together it's your day now this one here is actually one stamp and it says open house open heart open mind so we've stamped that out we've got the design of our card which is this one here so let me bring in the supplies so we can begin so the first thing i've got she says leaning across trying to open it is our knight of navy uh, as usual it measures eight inches by five and three quarters I have a piece of white card stock which measures three and three quarters by five and a half. Now to save time, I have already run this through the embossing folder, uh, which is this one here. And it's called the um, Exposed Brick 3D Embossing Folder. And it gives you parts of the wall showing through here. And then you've also got this like rough um, cement kind of effect which is where the door will sit on uh, that is going to be on this piece of white cardstock which measures three inches by four i have my piece of white cardstock which measures three and a half by five and a quarter which is our inside layer and then i have a piece of again white cardstock which measures three quarters of an inch by three inches and that is for our sentiment so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of three by four and we are going to stamp the door onto onto the piece so we've got this bit here um, i'm going to do that in knight of navy so just a gentle tap over the stamp it's quite a large stamp so i'm bringing the pad to the stamp rather than the other way around whoops stick that down okay and then we're just going to hover those over and press firmly down Ooh. and there is our door which is obviously open i'm then going to take the pebble path and on this occasion i'm going to put the uh, birthday presents in the doorway so i'm going to stamp that up with the pebble path go just bring that down to me so I can make sure I'm actually putting it straight and that's going to go just there in the middle and then we can start coloring it in so what I'm using is boho blue so I'm gonna use the dark and the light in both of these so the thin layer or a thin point I'm just going to go around the edges of this part of the door well, and normally I don't color these bits in on camera but I'm 
I am today because I want to give you the certain effect or show you the certain effect that I'm going to do. Right, so I want a bit of highlight here in the top left hand corner. So I'm just going to go down that strip and going down here. And then I'm also going to go down, once we turn it this way around, here. Whoops. There we go. Then I can start colouring them in with the light. So let's colour this one in first of all. I don't use boho very often, but it's actually quite like the blue colour, I have to say. There we go. There we are. Then I'm going to use the other end of the pen, as this is quite a larger area. And I'm just going to go over that, making sure that I incorporate the line that I've already layered. Do the same with the other two. It's funny when I do my coffee and cards and we do the colouring in section, it's always the quietest part of the of the morning because everybody's concentrating so hard on what they're doing. It doesn't actually make very good video though, all the silence when you're uh, colouring in. So I will try and do this as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's the door area coloured in and then I'm going to come back with the dark boho and I'm just going to do down the side and the bottom of each of the uh, windows. So straight down and along the bottom. Making it really as straight a line as possible. Straight down. on the bottom and then again on this one and that gives you the fill-in effect of the doors being panels and then I'm going to use the dark again for the frame of the door very carefully going through There we go. And then I'm going to use the light blue just for the door handle. So left now is to colour in our present. So I've got dark bubble bath for the first present. I'll just go over like this. Oh. Never a video without a Bootsy Bark, so bear with me for a second and I'm just going to let her in. I wouldn't have minded, but the door was actually wide open, so I'm not quite sure why she was barking. Anyway, so this is the light Blackberry Bliss, which will go over the second gift. I didn't want the whole card to be blue, so I figured I'd throw a bit of pink in. And with the dots, I'm just going to colour them in and leave the outside of the parcel um, white. Now, as much as I try, don't think this is going to be as even as I'd like it to be. Miss one, even, miss one, even. There we go. So that's there. So that bit goes there. Let's do it on this one. That one, miss one. Okay, so I can colour those in. 
and the dark comes in may have been easier to um so dark light dark light dark and then color the rest in in light you can hear the dogs going off again unfortunately we've got some building work across the way I'll put the right lids on we'll be okay um and there's lots of banging and they're driving pylons into the ground which unfortunately is uh, driving the dogs mental but it's about i don't know a mile up the road maybe um so it's literally not on my doorstep but you can still hear the pylons being driven into the ground anyway so that's that first bit what i'm going to do now is take my knight of navy and i'm going to dip the edges of my paper into the ink pad and I'm going to leave that on the side to dry just there then I'm going to do exactly the same with the previously embossed piece of cardstock so that's Knight of Navy in there we go Perfect. And that's that one there. So the only thing we now need to do is to add the sentiment. And of course, I have put the sentiment out of reach. So I'm just going to go and grab it. Bear with me for a second. Okay, here we go. Right. It's our piece. And I'm using the sweetly scripted. Unfortunately, it is no longer in the catalogue. But for my purposes for today what I need um, and it just shows really that you can use what you've got in your stash to create cards you don't have to buy everything okay so I'm going to put the happy birthday in and down there we go so we have all the pieces now and we can just add them to our card to make the actual card base so the first thing, before I do that, I'm actually going to pop my um, present down here on the right hand side. And again, I'm going to stamp that in the pebble path. Now it's up to you whether you colour it in or you leave it black and white or grey and white in this case. On this occasion, I'm going to leave it as is right so we can now create our card base so taking our knight of navy i'm just going to score that at four inches on my scoreboard let's bring that up pop it on there and taking my chalk gonna score that at four inches obviously you can use your trimmer if it's got your scoring blade with it i have a scoring blade but for some reason mine keeps falling out so i actually do need to buy some new ones so let's burnish that there we go and now we can stick down our brick wall effect and i'm going to use the multi-purpose she says leaning over to grab it multi-purpose I think on this case you could probably have used either sides of the embossing folder. Pop that down in place. There we are. I'm going to insert the inside layer, but I'm going to use my stamp and seal for that. inside there we go I'm going to bring in some dimensionals so that we can pop up the uh, door so let's pop one each end oops 
that's a, a long piece and that can go there I'll put that in the middle do like using up the every little bit of my dimensionals before I open another packet right I have to grab my scissors because that bit hasn't been broken up so let's do that just going to break those up and that can sit down the bottom now before I put it in place I'm going to bring in my sentiment again I'm going to raise that up as well now you can do one of two things you can leave it plain or you could dip the edges as well decisions decisions let's dip the edges because the other one I didn't but let's try it on this one and see so again taking out the Knight of Navy dip 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 I don't know if you can hear on the uh, video the banging that is the building site pushing down the pylons a couple of years ago they were doing it literally in the back of my house and the whole house shook um, and we had uh, cracks in the wall up here because they did it for about three and a half years and three and a half years three and a half weeks before they uh, actually stopped um, so I feel sorry for the people that they're doing it close to right so work out where everything is going to go before you stick it down so I think I can afford a little gap at the top, a little gap in the middle, and then that. So let's put the sentiment down first. There we go. And I'm trying to measure up this lane with this line. Okay, that's that one. And then we can take the backings off this. there we go and that is a quick and simple for Monday morning uh, card so there's today's and there's the one I've done previously obviously I've added bling onto this one but for this one I've decided not to so which do you prefer with or without the bling hmm colouring's good okay so thank you ever so much for joining me today uh, again i will be back on wednesday with the next card in the series for this week um so do join me if you're free whatever you do for your rest of your day stay safe take care and happy crafting